a lot of blood, a lot of flies, and the smell is very potent. I have completely lost my appetite. He's gone. He's left the building. It's not, not saying you see every day. No. Nice. Like <laughs> this is the first time we're ever going to see a dead body. Mm. Up close. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you saw our vlog yesterday, you would see that we spent the day exploring Taraja with our amazing guide Fritz. But we have so much more to explore. Today, we're actually heading to a Tarajan funeral, which we're really nervous about, but also very excited. And it's the main reason we come. So stay tuned as we show you more adventures around Taraja. Thank you. I'm always getting help from the locals. <laughs> so what do you need to get? Um, a bag of candies for the kids for today, for the funeral. Fortunately, we missed the sacrifices, but you can see ahead of me there's about maybe five buffalo, uh, one pig that have been sacrificed. And what they believe is, and they only do this at funerals, they believe that the buffalo guides you in the afterlife. And the more buffalo you have, the more guidance you have until you reach heaven. And we asked yesterday why they slaughter the pig as well. And that's because the pig is very smart and the pig helps guide the way. It's not, not saying you see every day. That's oh. what I can say. I, I really like the thought behind it and I really appreciate like they have so much respect for the death and they go through all this so that the, the deceased person can have guidance in the afterlife. So I really respect that. But it's still really hard to see. The people eat the meat yeah. after. There's so there's no, no waste, waste at yeah. all. Even with the skin they make leather, so for like wallets, shoes, zip flops. So everything is distributed towards the community. It's still really hard to see. <laughs> I think it's a lot better of a life for that animal yeah. because they spend all their life free on the fields, you know, like compared to the slaughterhouses in England and America where they're just chained up all day, every day for all their life. So actually, I think it's better. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, big smiles now. This one for mud fresh, and that one how to make the teeth strong. Oh. And they want to clean. A long time ago, before we having uh, or we knew about uh, toothbrush, mm. we use this skin. Oh wow! So we have like fresh mouth, strong teeth. So what's this called? Beetle nut. Uh, yes. Beetle nut. Oh wow. Beetle nut. So I'm gifting the family some things from this bag, right? Yeah? Yeah. The women are so sweet. Oh. New mother. New mother, yeah. Chanti. It's beautiful. Yeah, very. Now see your dress. It's so beautiful. Chantik Chanti. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, it's one hell of an experience. Yes. Let's just say that. Once in a lifetime experience for sure. It was very overwhelming. Yeah. Um, yeah, just really hard to explain actually. Mm. I don't know how I feel about it. But the people here are just so nice. Like. Yeah. They're just so genuine, always like want to get to know you. Like I just met a new guy called Artie, he wanted my number, <laughs> wants to hang out sometime. Yeah, it's just the most beautiful people, but it doesn't sync with what's actually going on. Yeah. It's like you've got the beauty of the people and then you've got the absolute barbaricness of the situation. It's just, yeah. It's a bit weird to it's take in. A lot, because there's just so much blood yeah. and so much death. Yes. Um, yes. And it's just something that we're completely not used to, no. but... Um, Everyone's just so friendly and so happy and yeah. you know, it's just a completely different belief to us. Yeah. And they're completely disconnected with what's actually happening. Yeah. It's because their belief is so strong that they believe it's actually like a good thing. 
and that they're blessing the animal by sacrificing them because yeah. not only it helps their relative in the afterlife but it helps the animal as well in the afterlife because they go to paradise as well so yeah it's um, definitely been an experience for sure. So we've arrived at our next spot which is so high up it took us like 30 minutes going uphill like this so it's a bit of a challenge but we're here now and as you can see we're at the tombs someone's asked me for a photo already and then we're gonna hike up so this is the royal noble class belongs to the family from the high class yeah all the family member member from generation to generation will be buried with their grandparents together here Hi. <laughs> Each grave has a photo of the person who is inside the tomb and outside is offerings made by families and friends and it would be things that they liked. The offerings here are mostly cigarettes and sweets but it can be literally anything. It could be bottled water, beer, anything that the person likes when they're alive. Friends and family would come and make offerings on a regular basis. And this is all part of one family? Yeah. From generation to generation. Wow. Every one hall, 15,000 people was prepared here. Because one hall is capacity up to 20 covens. 20? Yeah. And you can count how many. I don't even know how much. That is a lot of bodies. Yeah. It's so cool here, really beautiful, but I think it's going to be even more beautiful from above. I think this is the first vlog that we haven't complained with too hot. No, it's not too hot. No. It's pretty good. Yeah. Chill. Rarity. So we've just stopped in these incredible rice fields to fly our drone. We were driving and there was a huge traffic jam on the tiniest, thinnest road. Like I swear to God, look, you can see now if I just stand like this, you can actually see like both sides of the road behind me, but there was cars coming down here. These people are freaking crazy. Oh, talking of cars, let me move. <laughs> if you ever need a good driver, hire an Indonesian. Hello. 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 <laughs> so yeah, Sam's gonna fly his drone now over these incredible views. Good views? Yeah. So we actually just flew it from this rock and it just, oh, there's an ant on me. It just literally, as soon as it took off, it capsized and fell down on the floor. But we're so lucky we're not on a mountain, but luckily it's still working. Bloody drone. Bloody drone. Ah! Where is it? <laughs> He's fucking mad. <laughs> Now I look like that insect that was on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Just reached our final stop of the day and this is going to be another funeral. But instead of the sacrificing stage, this is the stage before when they welcome the families. So we're going to go inside now and say hello. This one we call it uh, Sarikan. Sarikan is the tower to put the dead uh, person. Normally in the second day of the funeral, we put the dead into the tower because we believe that the spirit is watching or she's watching the relatives from the tower, watching all the participants to coming. Yeah, so that's the meaning why we put the tower here. And more identifying of the dead person, from the high class. So after having lots of tea and cake and about a hundred photos of all the relatives, we're now going to see 
the body of the deceased. Which is strange, it's so different to us, you know? Okay, this is going to be an absolute first for us, so... But this one's still covered. Yes. Oh! When someone we love pass away, we don't bury them or celebrate the funeral immediately. All the family members will speak and we do like vote that how long we are going to keep uh, someone we love in the houses. Sometimes between one, three years, five years or even 40 years. Wow. Even 60 years. Wow. wow. Yeah. We need to buy or afford some other things to buy a buffalo to buy a cigarette buy many things for people to helping us to work we buy a cigarette for them palm wine food buffalo pig so it costs for example uh, only one uh, dead person yeah, from the high class minimum 24 buffalo sometimes more Bye guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to head to the final stop of the day. Um, Fritz is going to be showing us a family member in an open casket. So yeah. It's been a day full of first experiences, that's for, that's for sure. Definitely. We've now arrived at Fritz's dad's cousin's house and we're going to go and see his deceased relative now. Yeah, so they've just been inside to ask permission from the relative because they still believe the spirit's in the house mm. and now we're allowed to go and see. So this is the first time we're ever going to see a dead body mm. up close. Oh, yeah, maybe turn this off and do it inside. Yeah, yeah just in case. <laughs> this is Polo Sticker. He passed one year away and he's been in the house since. Hopefully his funeral soon, but they don't know when. And underneath this is just his body. Um, it doesn't smell or anything, which is crazy, I thought it would. But they put the chemical inside to stop the smelling. They keep this on top to stop the insects from getting inside. But it's just right here. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm. So we just gave some money for some cigarettes for him. Because they offer every single day, they bring offerings to the loved ones. It's really cute. Yeah, it's it? really nice. Mama. Really respectful. It's actually quite sad. I feel a bit emotional. Yeah, I know you do. I don't even too. know him, but I feel mm. sad. So, guys, we're going to have some tea with the family, and uh, maybe some snacks, and then we're going to head back to the homestay. Yeah, and I think it's time for us to end the vlog because so. it's pitch black outside and mm. you won't see anything yeah. more. So, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one.